are also over 2 billion Apple Power adapters out in the world. So we are removing these items from the iPhone box. With your preferences and the planet in mind, we are proposing a way to prevent these unused items from piling up in your drawers. Your S21 device will come with a USB-C cable and our chargers will remain available for anyone who wants one at the new lower price. What's up guys, Sal here. So Google has already made the Pixel 6 official, albeit partially. We'll see a full reveal probably on September 30th. Yesterday, Google has also made the Pixel 5a official, which is a mid-range handset. It's basically a rebranded version of Pixel 4a 5G release last year. Google also confirmed yesterday that the Pixel 5a will be the last Pixel phone to include a charging brick inside the box, which means of course the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro won't come with a charger inside the box. Google explains that most people already have spare chargers, so there's no longer a need to include one with its phones. Apple is the one who started this trend with iPhone 12, saying they are doing it to reduce environmental waste. Later, Samsung followed suit, stating the same reasons. Their flagships, including the S21 and even the near $2000 Z Fold 3 doesn't come with a charger. And now Google has also decided to do the same. It's a classic example of monkey see, monkey do. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, it would have been okay if the cost savings of not including a charger with the phone was passed on to the consumers, but clearly that's not happening. We are effectively paying to have an item removed from the product. Plus all this BS about saving the environment is a complete nonsense and it's naive to believe that this stance isn't driven purely by greed. I mean, take a look at the shipment of a power bank from Apple themselves. If they really cared about the environment, then they would have used an appropriate smaller box for the packaging. But that didn't happen. Where do you think all this extra packaging will go to? Straight to the garbage bin. This is a case of introducing a problem and then providing a solution for some money. What makes this even worse is that Pixel 6 is expected to come with faster charging. If this whole environmental BS didn't exist, you would have gotten that faster charger for free inside the box. But now you'll have to pay extra for that. Anyway, ever since Pixel phones came into existence, the lineup languished in the low single digits of market share whether it's the US or Europe or basically anywhere. And there are mainly three reasons for that, lack of marketing, a subpar product and lack of availability. But Google told the Verse that with Pixel 6, that is not going to be an issue. They are serious about stealing some market share from Samsung and Apple. Google officials said, and I quote, the product is really now the Google phone. So we're ready to invest a lot in marketing and we want to grow. This falls in line with a rumor we heard a while ago that Google has kept the same marketing budget for the Pixel 6 as Samsung keeps for their Galaxy S series of lineup. This is awesome because it shows Google intends to be a real competitor and make some real money which in turn is good news for the entire smartphone industry. Of course, with that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.